Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we are talking about M Transition Mega Pack 2, and this pack is absolutely mega. 130 transitions. Now, obviously, we can't go over all of those, but I will give you a quick overview as to how some of these look. Let's jump into the tutorial. Once you've installed M Transition Mega Pack 2, they can be located over in your transitions. As stated before, there are 130 unique transitions in this pack and they are split into five different groups. If you'd like to get a real-time preview, simply take your cursor and scrub over the transition and that is gonna show in your canvas what these transitions may look like on your footage. Note, some of these also have drop zones, so you'll be able to apply more footage than the two clips that they may be transitioning with. The five categories of transitions are going to be effects, frames, graphical, masked, and typography. So why don't we start at the bottom and we'll just kind of work our way back. So let's start with one of our typography transitions. So we are transitioning these scenes with the skateboarding and we can go over and just kind of skim over and take a look at a few of these. I really like number 117. So to apply, simply click and drag the transition in between the two clips and let go and now we are transitioning between those two. So you can see that is sort of the default setting, a paper rip and it says the word street, but if we would like to adjust some of those parameters, click on the transition and go over to your inspector and this is where some of your published parameters are available. For instance, if we wanted to change the background color, simply click the color option there and you can make changes as you see fit or you can make changes to your text, your font, your size, all of that good stuff. So why don't we make a quick text change and we're just going to change that to say bridge. Now, as we go back over the clips, you can see that has been applied into our transition that quickly and that easily. All right, why don't we take a look at how that looks rendered out? And there you go, simple. You know, for the next transition, why don't we just scroll all the way back up and we will use one of our effects transitions. That is gonna be the first category here. And again, if you just want to skim over those really quickly, you can get a good idea of how they are going to be affecting your footage. I think I like this transition number three here. So why don't we just simply click and drag that and apply in between our next two clips. And now you can see by default, it does this really cool sort of wavy color transition between the two clips. Your published parameters are really quite simple. You have two color gradients. If you want to go over to your inspector, you can just click either of those to open and then you can make adjustments to your colors as you see fit. So I would really like to select the colors that are actually in this clip so that they are sort of cohesive. So I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and just go in and select one of the colors of this blue streamer here. And then I will go into the next color gradient, use the eyedropper, and why don't we find the kind of gold color inside the streamers. Now this selection was a bit too dark, so I can brighten it up here with my slider inside of those color tools. And then we can see how that transition looks. It works really well with those. All right, I would like to transition into my next scene here. Why don't we go over and use some of our transitions that have those drop zones, which are gonna be in the frames category. So we can scroll down and again, we can get some sort of a preview over which one we like. I really like number 51, so we are going to select that one. Let's just click that and drag that in between our two clips, just like any other transition. 
and then you can see we have the drop zone options here over in our inspector now of course the primary transition is happening between our two clips but we do want to populate these other drop zones with other footage so over in our inspector we are going to just find drop zone number one you can see that it has no source and we need to fill that so to populate this drop zone, simply click on the drop zone well, and then you can go over and find the footage that you would like to populate that with. You can populate this with video footage or photos, but I'm going to just select this clip here, and then I can make sure that it's the clip I want, and then go over and click apply clip, and you can see that it has populated that drop zone there on drop zone number one. And to fill the rest, you just follow the same process, click the drop zone well, find the video or photo footage that you want, click and apply clip, so on and so forth until all the drop zones have been applied. Now, if you need to reframe any of those drop zones, you do have the drop zone pan and scale content there so that you can adjust the framing as you see fit. And there it is rendered out. So let's move on to our next clip. So I would like to use a graphical transition with our next clip. If you skim over, you will again see what's going on in your canvas. There's a lot of really cool graphical things going on. Some squiggles and some lines, frames that go around your footage, all kinds of stuff. So I think I'm going to use this one right here, which is transition number 74. Now this transition is super easy, not a lot to do over in your inspector other than change our colors of our squiggle. So if we go up to flash color, we can select this box and then we can make changes. So I'm gonna just push this over into sort of the pink area to match. Of course, you could use your eyedropper if you want or some of your sliders, any of those options. And let's go ahead and see how this looks super quick, super simple, so easy to use. All right, let's move on to our next transition. The final one that we're gonna look at is gonna be one of our mask transitions. Now again, you can skim over these to get a real-time preview of how they are going to look. For this example, I'm going to use transition number 99. So I'm going to simply, again, click and drag in between my two clips to apply the transition. And this one is just so simple. There are no parameters. You can simply drag it in and there you go. You have a really great transition between those two clips. Now again, this was a very quick overview. There are 130 transitions. They are all completely unique. We can't wait to see what you can do with M Transition Mega Pack 2, now available on MotionVFX.com. Again, this is George Edmondson. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.